What's up, Pirates? Luke Perkins here with Olivia O'Connor. That's right, we have two hosts this week. Isn't that right, Olivia? That's right, Luke. And boy, do we have a great show for you planned. We have another amazing segment of Cultural Corner, some tea getting spilled between teachers on this week's Ask the Staff, and we have some more bloopers to show off. Indeed. However, before we get to that, here are your daily announcements. Calling all high schoolers in need of a summer job. Mr. Bond has several good opportunities available. Please visit the website myhighschooljob.com for more information and any updates on current job prospects. Please see or email Mr. Bond with any interest or inquiries. This year, CHS piloted the Technology Student Association. Over 30 students competed in multiple competitive events, such as architectural design, biotechnology, coding, future technology teacher, children's story design, video game design, music production, and more. On Thursday, April 22nd, NJTSA announced the winners of the High School State Conference. We are pleased to announce that Cinnamons in High School placed in multiple events. Congrats to Liv Rosenberg, Grace Kohler, Lincoln Mater, Nick Olson, Juliana DeCesar, and Giovanna Poshis for placing at the state level. This is an outstanding performance by our students. Congratulations to all of our TSA members for their exceptional efforts. For those of you out there interested in getting involved with TSA next year, please email Ms. Coker or stop by A205. Hey Olivia, did you know that the Buccaneer yearbook is still for sale for $95 online through the school website only? Oh my god, are you for real? That's amazing news! And if you want to buy a yearbook, please click the link under the News and Announcements section entitled Buy Your 2021 Buccaneer Yearbook here on the high school website. The class of 2024 is having a night out at Top Golf on May 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. The cost is $60 and the deadline to pay is May 7th. If you have any questions, please ask Mrs. Kramer or Mr. Arnold. Additionally, the class of 2022 will be hosting a movie night in the stadium on Saturday, May 8th from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. The rain date will be Saturday, May 22nd. Tickets will be sold April 26th to May 4th for $15. Tickets include popcorn, some sweet treats, water, and lawn games. Chick-fil-A sandwiches will also be for sale at an additional cost. Return the permission slip and payment to Mrs. Schweitzer in B215, Mrs. Mulville in E169, or the main office by Tuesday, May 4th. Don't miss your chance to spend some quality time with your classmates in a safe way. Every day at CHS, teachers and staff are doing great things for their students. If you feel someone has either helped you, guided you, assisted you, or simply stands out, here's your opportunity to recognize them. Each month, the Golden Apple Award is given to a special staff member. Please consider recognizing someone who has made an impact on your life or the life of another by emailing Ms. Leitz at leitzj at cinnaminson.com. And now, on to Mr. Gorman with the principal's message. Good morning, Pirates. I would like to start this week by congratulating all of us. U.S. News & World Report has recognized Cinnamonson High School as one of their 2021 best high schools, ranking in the top 15% of almost 18,000 schools nationwide. Each and every one of you plays a tremendous role in making CHS the school that it is. Thank you for your efforts, and I am incredibly proud of the work that we have done. As part of our ongoing focus on Cinnamonson High School's culture, each month we decide upon one attribute that will be our focus. For the months of May and June, the focus is pride. Pride is a feeling of satisfaction derived from one's accomplishments or membership within an organization. As a faculty, we take great pride in our students' academic accomplishments, our athletes' success, and our performing arts. I hope that you are proud of your accomplishments, identify as a member of a class, and just being a pirate. Here are some ways you can show your pride this next two months. Show your school spirit by participating in the red and black games. Do your best on an upcoming AP exam. Spread the word about the great things we do at Cinnamonson High School. Recognize your favorite teacher or staff member by nominating them for a golden apple. Please join us in celebrating your pirate pride by accepting one of these simple challenges this month. That's all for this week. Please enjoy the rest of the broadcast and have a great weekend. Do you have an announcement for an upcoming event for your club or organization? Do you want to spotlight student achievement both inside and outside the classroom? 
then consider putting your announcements right here on CHS TV. Send us an email with your info to cinnamonsandtv at gmail.com or reach out to Mr. Wilson and we will include your announcements each week on our show. Each week we ask the staff a different question. This week we asked, what CHS staff member would you not want to be trapped on a desert island with? Let's see what they had to say. Mr. Petruzzi. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, still Mario Petruzzi, for the aforementioned reasons. <laughs> it's either entertaining or annoying. I think it'd be fun to be with Mr. Miley, but I think he'd probably tell too many dad jokes. So that's who I'll go with. Uh, could it be former CHS staff member? Sure. Mr. McConnell. Because I would not want to be hearing him speak over and over again. I would not want to be stranded on a de deserted island with Eric Teasdale because I would not want to be constantly reminded of how much younger he is than me. I'll just throw Campbell under the bus. I don't think me and him would work well, <laughs> work well out there. Probably me and Mrs. Morales, only because me and her have so much in common and she speaks Spanish as well. I think we would probably talk ourselves to death within the first 24 hours and run out of things to say to one another. So I would go with Ms. Morales. Mr. Keston. <laughs> uh, I love him, but I think that if we were trapped on a deserted island together, we would probably kill each other before long. Um, okay, here's a smart answer to a very difficult question. The person I would not want to be trapped on a desert island with would be myself alone. Anyone would, would be a benefit, but to be alone would be worst. Um, all right, I'm going to say Mr. Kind because then I would have to hear how much of a nightmare I am and how much of a saint my husband is, and he's not. I'm going to go with Carlo Iacono. Love him, but I don't know that I'd want to be stuck on an island with him. I would not want to be trapped on a deserted island with Mr. Gill because he doesn't like to share. But yes, you're, I mean, I think that would be the given would be Kyle Hart. Oh, Kyle Hart. I don't want him to kill me. Who I not want to be trapped on a desert island with. This is tough, but I might have to go with Kyle Hart, uh, Mr. Hart, because I don't know if I'd be safe. I would have to go with Kyle Hart because I wouldn't know, um, I guess I wouldn't know where he was at all times and I also wouldn't know when he would turn on me for food. That's easy, Hart. I would not want to be with Hart at all. I would be afraid that he would eat me and uh, that scares the life out of me. Personally, I wouldn't want to be trapped in an island with Mr. Wilson because... Excuse me. Hello? That was Mr. Wilson and I'm fired. Have a great day, pirates. Last week's Cultural Corner meant to inspire your awareness of and action for climate change, to let the leader in yourself shine, and to see by example just how necessary and powerful youth activists are for any campaign to be successful. Today's segment takes a deeper look into the environmental justice movement, taken from the U.S. Department of Energy website, environmental justice is the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people with respect to the development, implementation, and enforcement of environmental laws, regulations, and policies. Fair treatment means no population bears a disproportionate share of negative environmental consequences. Meaningful involvement requires effective access to decision makers for all, and the ability in all communities to make informed decisions and take positive actions to perform environmental justice for themselves. Speaking of meaningful involvement, current CHS sophomore Arezzo Mehmet is looking to this pirate nation to support her clean water campaign. Take the water wheel, Arezzo. Acts of charity are essential during Ramadan. Donations are directed to those who are struck by poverty and hunger. My charity is Water Relief. Watch this short video explaining what that is. Can I 
معلش يا نقص المياه نعاني منها كثير يعني ممكن ما اقدرش ندخل لانه ما بسمع والاعصاب برضه بدي اتاكد ان احنا بعد كثير قدرنا ناكل يعني يعني كان الوضع يعني من قبل كان مختلف علينا يعني قليل هذا اللي احنا ما رجعت لنا نظيفه وفرت لحنا المياه ونشكر امك جدا طبعا هذه الاشياء حلوه لنا Before the bathroom, it's not clear, but now it's clear and we can use it. So, thanks for UNICEF and Japan's people for help my school. And thank you. Clean water changes lives and Islamic Relief Fund projects span to four continents. Help me make a change. Contribute during your second and lunch periods. Thank you. I did it again I messed up my lies I'm sorry was said Can we start over? Oh, that was really bad. Can, can we start over? What's up, Pirates? I'm Jarrett, and welcome back to another installment of Bloops, I Did It Again, which shows that our mistakes are funnier than the actual show. We hope you enjoy. This past February was Kui... We have a couple of bloopers of me, and I still have my mask on while I'm like talking. Max, uh, masks are ten dollars each. Man, the host has a hard job. Mr. Mac Namara in room. <laughs> to see Mr. Mick Namara in room. Mr. Mick Namara or Mrs. Mac Namara. Welcome to a new segment called "What Happens Next." Wow. Oh my God! Okay. Oh. This week, we turn to current students to recognize. <laughs> Sabotage! That was so loud. <laughs> uh, happy birthday to um, a lot of people. And this week's joke is. Wait, I just like forgot punchline. <laughs> Golly, pirates! Then with some tasty bloops. I can't wait for next week's installment of Bloops. I did it again. <laughs> Each year, the students in AP Psych work to raise awareness during the month of May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month across the country. Groups focus on bringing tools, resources, and education to the general public. This means the stigma for mental health issues is slowly going away. Mental health issues are finally getting the attention that they deserve. Healthcare workers and individuals feel that they can discuss mental health more openly. Here's how the students at CHS are contributing to Mental Health Awareness Month. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. This May, the theme for Mental Health Awareness Month is Tools to Thrive, providing a practical tools that everyone can use to improve their mental health and increase their resiliency, regardless of their personal situation. Each year, millions of Americans face the reality of living with a mental illness. During May, CHS joins a national movement to raise awareness about mental health. There are many groups that work to fight stigma, provide support, and educate the public and advocate for policies that support people with mental illness and their families. Approximately 20% of American adults will experience some type of psychological illness during their lifetime. Even if you are not in the 20%, you may struggle with periods of stress or overwhelming feelings that can challenge your psychological wellness. There are simple ways you can promote Mental Health Awareness Month. Start a conversation by asking friends if they are okay. Prioritize your own mental health to make sure you are taking care of your physical and psychological wellness. Donate or volunteer your time or participate in a local walk. Share information about mental wellness to help raise awareness. Let someone know that they're not alone if you know they have received a mental health diagnosis. To help raise awareness and work to decrease the stigma surrounding a mental health diagnosis in our community, the AP Psychology classes are working with Student Council to sponsor a clothing drive. Student Council will add points to the red and black games for any students who bring in clothing. 
All clothing items are needed, but especially pajamas, sweatpants, sweatshirts, hoodies, and flip-flops. If possible, strings should be removed from these items as they pose a safety risk for patients. In addition, any newly purchased personal items, such as socks and underwear, are welcomed. These can be purchased at a low cost from the dollar store and or Walmart if you are able to help in this way. This is why we are doing the clothing drive. Many patients arrive at mental health facilities with nothing to wear and are forced to wear hospital gowns while the rest of the patients are able to wear their own clothing. During May, share the message. Taking care of our mental health is as normal as eating healthy, exercising, or even saving for the future. Thank you for your support. That's all for this week, Pirates. If you have any comments, questions, or ideas for something you would like to see on CHS TV, please reach out to us at cinnamonsandtv at gmail.com. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. See you next week, and hopefully um, I'll be back to my usual self. You look pretty normal to me. <laughs> have a great weekend, Pirates.